Hey everybody and welcome to the video. So we're going to be checking out a brand new plugin by a new developer called Baby Audio and this is their first plugin release called I Heart New York or I Heart NY or I Love New York. And the reason why it's called I Heart New York is because it's actually a compressor which is designed to achieve New York parallel compression. So you plug this plugin on the insert of your channel and what will happen is it will copy the audio signal, host it inside the plugin, and then you can apply the amount of spank, as they call it, to the signal and blend it in with the original to achieve the technique and the sound. Starting with the main controls, they are all inside of this geometric shape heart. On the left we have the spank knob, and this is the one you turn to increase the amount of compression or spank which is being applied to the parallel signal. Now there are no controls for things like ratio, knee, attack and release. These are all pre-baked into the adaptive logarithm, so it does have its own sound, but you don't really have control over anything under the hood. So this is a very simple compressor to use. You just dial it in as you need, and then you can blend the parallel signal in underneath and play around with the spank. Moving on to the center part here, um, the parallel signal, this is the fader that you use to take the compressed signal and then you push it up to blend it in underneath the original signal to achieve the right amount of compression for you, or should I say New York compression. To the right we have the output knob and this allows you to increase the output volume or attenuate the output volume. Um, you're going to find you're going to be you know, doing a lot of attenuation for this. Uh, there is no automatic auto gain feature. So if you want to A, B things accurately, you will need to keep, you know, bypassing and enabling the plugin and attenuating the output until you get it where you need it to be. You can also use this as a regular compressor. So instead of using it in parallel mode, you can engage the solo function and then use it as a compressor on the original signal. Um, and use it that way if you wish. And over to the left here, we have the gain reduction meter, and over to the right, we have the output meter. Now, there are no numerical values to give the exact decibels of you know what you're getting for gain reduction or what the output level is, although the meters will tell you if you're clipping and if you're getting near to the clipping point. The idea of this plugin is to use your ears more than anything, and that's where you will shine with this plugin. You just need to put it on your inserts and use your ears. So let's start by playing the track. And what I'll do is enable an instance of the compressor on the drums bus, which is just a kick and snare. And we'll play around with the spank and the parallel signal and see what we can get from it. So I'm gonna turn the product on. I'm going to reduce the there we go now you notice how it's it's like having a transient designer on it when you really push the spank on percussive stuff it really makes those transients stand out so what I like about that is that with having the parallel signal to blend things, if you just need to lift the attack on certain instruments, you can do that with the spank and just lightly blend it in. But for this, I want to be a bit more conservative with it and just pull things into focus a little bit more so they don't sound um, as loose. So let's start from here. It's just tightening things up a little bit, being very subtle with it. Next, let's go to the bass and put the compressor on the bass. Now, this is going to really bring out those finger pops like that. 
if I push this. Now it's affecting the attack. some of that attack of the base and I think with compression as well especially with a compressor like this because when you have to attenuate the volume when you're using it the initial loudness might fool you into thinking that you're doing something that sounds better but actually you need to pull the output volume back so you can a b it and make that decision afterwards so I kind of like where that's set to now um, let's move on to the keys now with the keys I really want to see if we can cook this and um, pull out some of that ambience a little bit more the, with the keys. Yeah, so that's cool. So you notice after the initial strike, it kind of falls off without. We put it on. Bane's more. A little bit of an attack, maybe a bit too much attack. But that sounds cool. I like the way that's sustaining. Um, so finally, let's put it on the main mix bus and see how this sounds. So now where we're going to hear the difference is when we A, B, D. So uh, A, B, them, A, B, A, bypass them, <laughs> A, B, them. So I'll bypass all of the instances here, the four instances we've got. So we've got one on the bass, one on the keys, one on the drum bus. Oh, the plucks. We forgot about the plucks. Let's do the plucks. That's without them on, and this is when we turn the compressors on. Got a nice vibe about it, and it put, definitely lifts things into focus. It kind of sounds hazy without it on. 
like a bit, bit loose, a bit flummy. Sounds cool to me. So here's a few more examples for you guys to listen to. things to fill my time it's okay i'm doing fine i'll find things to fill my time it's okay i'm doing fine i'll find things to fill my time So what are my opinions on the plugin? A lot of you are probably saying, well, I could just do New York compression inside the DAW by copying the audio track, putting stop plugins on, blah, yada, 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 yada. And yes, you could do that. However, this plugin, A, makes it easy, but more importantly, it has its own flavor. It has its own sound to it. The way the guys at Baby Audio have designed the attack and release curves on this with all the other stuff on the node is definitely giving it its own sound, and I do like it. In terms of usability, it's really simple to use. You've just got, what, four controls on here. Although the interface is lacking in terms of visual feedback uh, for critical uh, you know, analysis. So if you want to know exactly exact amount of gain reduction, the exact amount of output level, all the rest of it, it doesn't have any of that, but it encourages you to use your ears. So really, that's not a loss for me. Um, I, I, I don't really tend to look at things. I tend to listen more than I look. Um, although sometimes it is handy to have those numbers there. But for this product in particular, I don't think it really needs it. Um, the one thing I feel it does need and that it does lack is some kind of auto gain feature. Now, you do have plugins out there that do adaptive auto gain, so it's automatically always calculating the exact level and auto attenuating everything for you, so it's so you've got that consistent output. But I feel like something like that, implementing that into this kind of plugin at this price, might be a lot of development time and a lot of work, and it might not necessarily be worth that amount of time. But for me, a much simpler way to tackle the um, the output levels is kind of like what FabFilter did with their uh, Pro L uh, limiter. So you can hold alternate on the keyboard, and what it will do is automatically link the um, the gain and reduction and the output level. So as I increase the threshold here, it will reduce the output level down here. So it's balancing the volume without using any kind of sophisticated technology. Um, whereas I feel that, that this would be benefit beneficial to have something like this inside of this plugin. So when I'm adjusting the parallel signal, it'd be nice if the output automatically attenuates as well. So you can hear what's going on between the blend instead of 
pulling it up, you know, and then adjusting the output and going back and forth like that. So some kind of attenuation, auto attenuation link would work really well with this plugin and help just polish it off that little bit more. Now, whether or not the sound is going to be for you, that's entirely down to you. Personally, I like the sound. Um, I would recommend heading over to Baby Audio's website. I'll put a link in the description and downloading the demo for yourself and trying it out. And if you like it, then you can obviously purchase it. It's cheap enough to purchase. There we go. So it's a thumbs up from me. Uh, I think the guys have done a good job, especially for the first release. And I look forward to seeing what they come up with in the future. Hopefully they'll design a range of affordable uh, plugins which have their own thing about them like they've done with this one and that you guys will you know, benefit from that.